Hello everyone. The logo we're going to make today is camera aperture. So first we're going to make uh, aperture logo in Adobe Illustrator and we're going to apply uh, some 3D effect on it in Adobe Illustrator as well. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button and set the alarm for my latest video. And let's get started. <laughs> So first, uh, create uh, a new document in Adobe Illustrator, just a letter size paper, and then a uh, landscape orientation like you're seeing. And then first the thing is, uh, please choose your the ellipse tool. We're going to draw the perfect circle. So set the um, uh, fill color to nothing and the stroke color in black. Okay, and hit somewhere. We're going to draw 300 by 300 point perfect circle like this okay and then set your uh, switch your tool to on um, the polygon tool click somewhere and the set the side to a six so we can have a hexagon and the radius the size is it really doesn't matter for now say okay so mine is about this size okay I'm gonna uh, rotate it let me hold down the shift key so can, I can rotate 90 degree angle like this. Okay, let me place it. That's about the good size. And select both. I'm going to open my align panel and horizontal center and the vertical center. So um, they're sharing the same center point. Okay, then now choose your line tool and then place your line tool on that the anchor point on your hexagon from the inside. Hold down the shift key and draw the other one vertical line. Uh, go over a little bit uh, this border of this circle. I'm going to have another one from there, from the bottom right anchor point. Hold down the shift key there. And I'm going to have another one to the. Try to have kind of parallel um, as an extension from this hexagon, this side. So one here, another one there. And another one. Okay. And the last one. There. Okay. Now choose everything. Now increase the stroke weight. Um, let me try 10. I want to try a little more. Maybe 12 point. Okay, that looks good. Now select everything. Go to object menu and choose expand. Check the fill and the stroke. Okay. And then still these, uh, these are all objects are selected. Now choose your shape builder. Hold down the option key. You see the minus sign next to your mouse cursor when you hold down the option. So uh, remove those little pieces out of the um, this uh, circle okay now select everything then open pathfinder and unite it as one shape okay so uh, we're getting in there now choose your ellipse tool again and set your fill color to nothing and stroke color in black and place your mouse cursor in the center Hold down the option, keep pressing your mouse button and the shift key and draw a circle bigger than your the other symbol. About this size. Okay. And then the gap between this the other shape and then this new circle behind, I would keep some kind of a very similar thickness, the width in, uh, of this black line. Okay, now, this new circle is selected, um, and then go to Object Menu, Arrange, and Send to Back. And I'm going to switch the color. So actually, there are two objects, Big Circle and then now the Aperture. Select both, and make sure this Aperture is on top. Then in your Pathfinder, Minus Front. Okay, so uh, we're almost done. And then I'm going to get rid of this center um, hexagon in the middle. 
So let me choose my shape builder, place it on the hexagon, hold down the option, you see the minus key, and click. So it's gone. So my aperture logo is done. Now let's apply uh, some three-dimensional looking. So I'm going to move it to the side and go there. Okay, so uh, we can see the um, uh, difference between those two. So first, uh, let me switch uh, my fill color from black to a really light gray. Just like this. Okay. Uh, and then go to Effect menu, 3D and Materials, and Extrude and Bevel. Choose that. So by default, it will have some kind of a certain angle like this. Scroll down. You're going to see the presets. So at the off axis front, that's the default setting. Please choose the front, front view. So it looks flat. Let me increase the perspective angle. See? It is getting more three-dimensional like that. I'm going to do something like this. Okay. And the depth, it will control the uh, the thickness I'm gonna decrease it about that and then on the bevel option bevel shape from classic let me try the round okay and then with see you see the difference so not too much width and the height I'm gonna increase it a little more but not too much Okay, so it looks good. Now go to lightings. So there are, uh, I know, go to materials first. Materials. Let me apply this, the, the fine leather, the black one. Okay, now go to lighting. Choose the, and I, I would choose the top left, just like this. Then intensity, you can control the intensity of the light source. So it looks like a leather texture. That's pretty cool. And then if you control the height, see? There are more lights. Okay, so it looks good. So I'm okay with that. So let me close it. Okay, now let me add the text. Uh, I will type aperture and then a typeface I'm going to use is um, this is the font I downloaded from the, uh, the font.com uh, aperture so this is my I think that works pretty well let me select both and uh, align center okay All right so uh, this is the, the kind of basic logo settings I'm going to make a copy of this to write next to it Okay, then this time, uh, let me change the fill color, the text color to white. And then I'm going to apply effect, stylize, and auto glow. Uh, in normal mode. Um, so it looks good. A little more, a little more. And okay. All right. So that's it. It's pretty simple, quick and easy. So we created uh, one aperture, camera aperture looking uh, symbol. And then now we applied yeah, some 3D effect in Adobe Illustrator. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot just one more thing. Let me apply uh, some drop shadow. So it will look more three-dimensional by adding some depth. So under effect menu, again, stylize, drop shadow. So it's okay. Um, yep, I'm, I'm happy with this setting and okay. So it is more like a three dimensional. All right, so um, I hope you enjoy this video uh, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.